guys. It's Farm Prepper here. Merry Christmas. Today is December 25th. And, uh, I wanted to say Merry Christmas. See how you guys are doing. And hopefully you're spending time with family. It's good. Take advantage of that. I don't know. Uh, I am eating some Campbell's Chunky Soup out of the can in Publix parking lot. Well, kind of on the side, but yeah. <clears throat> Trying to stay positive. Alright guys, well, I hope everybody has a great Christmas. Enjoy your time with your family. And if you can, go help somebody today. You know, go pay for somebody's gas or buy somebody a soda or you know give somebody a couple of bucks you know I didn't have much that I gave a guy at the gas station two dollars you know, that's about all I had but, but what I was saying was I've been relying on my prepper skills and shelter building and stuff like that the last four or five days four days no three three days um, in the woods which you saw in my other video and uh, last night was scary I don't know what the fuck was in the woods just demolishing animals um, uh, <laughs> I literally was frozen in terror for four hours didn't want to move or turn my phone on because something was hunting in those woods and just destroying I heard the cattle mooing in agonizing pain I heard fucking uh, bird, I don't, what the fuck kind of bird was getting ripped limb from limb, and, uh, probably a deer, I don't know what they sound like when they're being murdered, but, uh, it was quite scary, it sounded like a horror movie for about four hours, um, so, that was fun, so I got about two hours of sleep, and that wasn't until the sun came up at 7.30, and then I was awoken, in the tree above me, where my uh, little tent set up that I built, uh, by 1,500 crows just cawing, cawing, cawing. And, uh, you know, previously to the misconception of that's bad luck, but actually doing a little research, it's a good sign, um, which makes me feel better, positive about stuff that's coming up and stuff that's happening. Um, uh, that they did wake me wake me up quite abruptly, so uh, I did pack up my stuff and I mean the tarp and stuff. The shelter's still there. I just grabbed all my stuff and and I had been leaving it out there and going a day, uh, but I did grab all my stuff. Um, I just want to say Merry Christmas again. Positive. I'm positive. I'm happy. I'm good. I'm aroused up. I'm fine. I just I'm, I'm full. I ate. Good. It's beautiful out. <laughs> it's uh, 73 <laughs> northerners with your 30 degree weather. Alright guys. Uh, Merry Christmas. Spartan Prepper out. Mm. Hey everybody. Spartan Prepper here. Uh, what's today? Saturday. I think it's the 29th of December. 29th? Yep. Okay. I go back to Michigan tomorrow. Um... I'm not digging this situation. Uh, clearly, this is too stressful for Kendra because she has been um, not a very delightful person to be around the past week or so. Um, uh, not going to touch on that much more than that. Uh, but uh, yeah, this shit's not working for me. Um, five days in the woods. This is day two here. Um, I'm not. No, I, I hastily came up here too quickly. Didn't think things through. Um, so I think going back up north um, is a better idea. Uh, I leave tomorrow. I've got to get up at s about 5.30, 6 a.m. ish and walk. It's about two hour and something walk to the airport from here. So I'll be a good wake up for me. Um, probably do a video on walking. Um, hopefully they won't give me a hard time about that bag because I did not play pay for a check bag. Last time I was there, airport really didn't. Ask any questions about bags, if you paid for it or not, so we're going to try to sneak it through. Um, other than that, yeah, um, I'm over this homeless shit, not fun for me. Um, yeah, so 
All right, Michiganders. Anybody who follows me up from there, I will see you tomorrow. I will be back. And uh, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Spark Pepper out. All right. Oh, hey guys, Spark Pepper here. So, <laughs> in the bathroom at public storage downstairs near the office because I just got caught being in my unit sleeping. More like that's probably like snoring. Um, I heard the girl yelling, you can't sleep in the units. Um, she was showing somebody a unit across the way. Uh, I get my stuff around and the girl came and said, next time you can't be in here, we're just evict you. You have to leave, blah, 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 basically. So another night of finding a spot to sleep outside. Yay, so much fucking fun. Hence another reason why I'm going back to Michigan. Uh, it's bullshit. Uh, not fun for me. So, uh, needless to say, I got my shit. Thank God I got packed up earlier. So uh, I'm gonna go probably get a beer from Walmart and go sit at Burger King until I can't sit there anymore. And if I just want to crash. So I'm outside the, the Walmart, which is next to the public storage I just got kicked out of. And it's the Walmart en Espanol. Everybody here works here. You see, I was in here the other day for like three hours, saw three white people. So I feel like you're in another country. But anyway, I'm wondering, and I've seen this is the third person since I've been back in Michigan with this dumbass fucking haircut. So they have a nice tight hairstyle. All this is like trimmed really nice but then the back like this much of the back like the clippers broke and it, it, the, the clippers stopped working and they just left this big old poof of hair in the back <laughs> i don't understand it it looks fucking retarded just wondering if anybody can help me out why they did that uh i really want to ask like did your clippers break or uh that's rude of me probably i'll probably get beat up again so Anyway, that's all, that's all that was about. Thanks. Bye, guys. Smart Purple Rock. So, I'm in my end, uh, Bud Ices. I'm not trying to stay away from the nasty fucking beer. That gets me in trouble. I've been, I've drank like three of these and I didn't feel a buzz. And these are 5.5, five, I don't understand. So, I'm going to try these guys. They're 8%. What is this? Strawberry lemonade and then screwdriver. And then we'll just throw this in for a good measure because I'm really fucking irritated. I got kicked out of the fucking storage unit. Uh, all right, let's get these on and get the fuck out of here because I'm this sort of fucking irritates me. Everybody in here is fucking foreign. I feel like I'm in another fucking country in here. All right, guys, see ya. All right, we are done in Walmart. Walmart in Espanol, I should say. Sorry, my bad. Uh, I will say though. There's so many beautiful people here compared to Michigan. Everybody in Michigan's fucking fat and overweight. There are so many fucking beautiful people here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, and that's the one good thing, you know, you can say about being in this fucking Walmart. Uh, it's, you know, it's annoying. But man, there's a fine ass Spanish woman. Woo! 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 All I can say. Alright, so. I am behind. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sit back here before I get fucking busted. Probably not very long. I was sitting back here yesterday, but I don't know where I'll sit. It's in the, it's out of the sun. It's out of the, it's in the shade. At least drink my fucking beer. I don't know. We'll see. We'll fucking see. See how long this lasts before I get harassed out of here. So, hi guys. Holy moly. So, whew. This motherfucker oh, is strong. God damn, maybe I shouldn't be drinking this. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, it tastes like there's liquor in there. Oh, they just made my smearing off, so. Oh, wow. Whew, okay. Oh, just want to let you know that. Oh, God. Oh, guys, what's up? Spartan Prepper. 
I don't know if you can see me I'm behind the warmer in the shade. I'm trying to stay out of the sun. It's hot. It's so hot here. It's 80 degrees today, and it's just ugh. Like it's December 29th. It's almost January. Why is it so hot? You know. Ugh, I just I, I felt so racist in this side of town. Like everywhere you go, nobody speaks fucking English. Everybody speaks fucking Spanish. I'm not mad at myself. Really not. You know, you're in America. Why are we talking like we're in Cuba right now? <laughs> Why? Is that, you know, did you get hired under the pretense of, you only speak Spanish when you're working at this Walmart, because this is near the Spanish people, and we only speak it in Spanish. No. Y'all motherfuckers don't be here. <laughs> Oh, whatever. I'm total racist. I'm an asshole. Trust me, I know. I'm just venting. Whatever. Bye, guys. Holy fuck, I just... I had to come out from my little cubby hole over here. Because uh, I just got... It was overwhelming. A smell of fucking cologne. Like I was in Sears Roebuck in the fucking men's cologne department and somebody was like ksh, 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 just spraying fucking cologne yeah fuck you I'm making a video bitch keep looking at me oh wait you probably don't understand English so never mind oh my god I'm trying to come out and see where the fuck it's coming from because it was so strong like all of a sudden I just smelt men's cologne wow uh, there's nobody out here somebody was whew, taking a bath maybe it's that guy down there I don't think you can see that because the sun is super fucking bright. Jesus Christ, man. Wow. That's like... What is this? Uh, that is nothing. <laughs> I like how these, like... I think they just do this to, to, to scare people. Because there's no... There's no electricity. Nothing running to these trailers. To stop people from just coming in and fucking like opening them, just like that. Like there's no. I'm curious what's in the. I'm really curious. I kind of want to open one and see. There's like ten of these lined up outside this Walmart, and they're big. I like to look at the cubic feet. They're almost 2,700 cubic feet. I've been told that these are to hold all the product inside this Walmart to turn this into a FEMA camp so they can get everything out of this store empty it out completely within two days put up fencing in there and turn it into a FEMA camp that's could what was easier for there's no alarms I think it's kinda comical that they have those signs I really want to open one of these doors maybe I should wait until I'm about to leave pop one open see what happens and then dip out. I don't know. That's probably probably not a good idea. Anyway. Honestly, well, depends on how they pack these. I was going to say, I don't think all these 12 storage units could hold all the shit in Walmart. But, depending on how they pack them, they very well could. Alright, guys. I'm out. Burn pepper. See you. I unlatched. 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 Okay, I'm gonna, right before I walk out of here, I'm gonna open this. And I guarantee there's no fucking alarm. <laughs> there's no, these are just a fucking trailer sitting in the goddamn. I mean, I get it. It's just like having a dummy camera. You, somebody sees a camera, they're more at. They're not gonna steal something, you know? They think that they're being recorded. Like, if, I, if you think there's an alarm on these trailers, you're not gonna fucking open them. But I'm gonna open it. And I'm curious to see what's inside. Real curious. Um, probably not a good idea, but I'm going to do it and run. So uh, we'll see. Stay tuned. Can you hear this? I'm in a McDonald's. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to put this thing up to the speaker because even the music is in Spanish. I literally feel like no matter where I go within a 10 mile radius of this area, Hold on.
Sounds like a good pop song. Just in Spanish. Can't understand it at all. So that's cool. Uh, Michigan, I cannot wait to see you. Honestly. And I feel really racist. Like, <laughs> I really feel racist. Like, like, even the McDonald's is playing Spanish music? Should I say something? Oh my god, I wonder what would happen if I went up to the counter and was like, this music is offensive because I can't understand it. Because you know, if it was a, a black issue or anything like that, and this shit was offensive, it would be super huge on YouTube, it would, have, it would be viral within 20 fucking minutes. But if I say something because I'm white, this music is offensive because I don't understand what she's saying. It'll just get shunned. Oh, you're white, it's okay. Sounds like Shakira, sounds like a good song, like a pop song. I should know what the fuck she's saying. So that's cool. And yes, we are at a McDonald's. Two hours later, this is the airport. Planes have been taking off from here, so. Um, well, starving. <laughs> really fucking hungry. Haven't eaten there since yesterday, so. Uh, that's fun. Anyway, alright guys, I think I made it, and I'll see you in Michigan. We made it. Oh. Wow. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I gotta get on the tram. Next stop is the economy parking. So we're going. We finally made it to the fucking airport. What a gate you everything. We are in the economy parking station. So we had a few hours. Well, more than a few hours before we leave, but we're at the airport. We're in air conditioning, so I'm happy about that. I am gonna try to mash all these videos together and put them all on YouTube for everybody, so... Am I being too comfortable in here? Maybe. Did I pull all these stools around me to make a barricade? Yes, I did. Uh, I really don't care, I'm fucking tired. And I really feel like if I fall asleep in this chair, security's gonna mess with me. What is this over here? I sat in the wrong motherfucking place to be fucking hungry in an airport because that's a PF fucking Chang and it smells delicious and I'm starving. So that's cool. Uh, okay, Spartan Pepper out. I'm at Tampa International. Made it. What time is it? <laughs> Almost 10. It took me. It took two and a half hours, about as long as I thought it was going to take. Alright, guys. Spartan Pepper out.